Well, my name is a book that said, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I find myself back in that same boat now. That, that cellulitis and homeless people broke into my mobile home and they trashed it and stole everything I had. Because I'm on my journey in life, you know, just taking it one day at a time and trusting God a lot for my life and guidance in life. I didn't know where I was going to go and I ended up getting this phone number to the hat and the transportation that they provide here for people to get to the doctor's appointments wherever you need to get to. They provide that transportation and that's part of the community needs to know how important that is that, are, that their funds are not being wasted. And somehow uh, ended up with Shiloh, the girl here that drives up the van. I ended up with her on the phone. I said, well, I'm at this motel where I'm out of money. I don't know where I'm going. And I've got, you know, three suitcases, a guitar, my duffel bag, and my walker. And I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> it's been so, you know, this place because it, it's here. Don't worry, it's doing Shallow, she goes, well, don't worry, I'll be there in the morning, I'll come and pick you up. Your stuff, you got enough money for a storage unit? And I said, yeah. She said, good, I'm going to take you and your stuff over to the uh, storage unit. We'll get a storage unit, put your stuff away, and I'll take you over to the hospitality house. And you got a place to stay. And uh, I'm still here. I, you know, applied for the Section 8. And, uh, but so Fred was going to help me with the forms. I'm not good with forms. <laughs> I, I hope to someday have my own place again for, for my life personally. I can say because they get to this place, it exists. And because it exists, I'm not sure if I'd be alive right now. <laughs>